good morning everyone welcome to our morning inspiration sunday july 21st 2024 our reading today comes to us from mark chapter 4 reading verse 1 to 9 and it says and he began again to teach by the seaside and there were gathered unto him a great multitude so that he entered into a ship and he sat in the sea and the whole multitude was by the sea on the land and he taught them many things by parables and said unto them in his doctrine hearken behold there went out a sower to sow and it came to pass as he sowed some fell by the wayside and the fowl of the air came and devoured it up and some fell on stony ground where it had not much earth and immediately it sprang up because it had no depth of earth but when the sun was up it was scorched and because it had no root it withered away and some fell among thorns and the thorns grew up and choked it and it healed no fruit and other fell on good ground and did heal fruit that sprang up and increased and brought forth and some thirty and some sixty and some an hundred and he said unto them he that had an hair let him hear amen we thank god this morning for his holy words and this is crucial for us to understand this morning no here jesus was sharing the parable of the sower and in this parable we can identify four groups of persons jesus was describing the farmer who was sowing seed and the seeds that he was sowing they fell on different grounds it spoke about the the seed that fell by the wayside and the bird came and hit the seed it talked about those who fell on the rocky ground and they sprang up quickly but because they had no root they what they withered as soon as the sun came up they scorched then he spoke about the seeds that fell among the thorns and they were choked by the thorns and because they were choked by the thorns they weren't able to bear any fruit at all and finally he spoke about those who fell on the good soil the one who fell on the good soil they were able to thrive and they were able to produce a bountiful harvest and they multiply and they kept multiplying greatly now in this parable it really illustrates how different people will receive the gospel or the word of god in various ways and depending on the condition of their mind and the condition of their heart it will bear the outcome eventually so the question that you and i need to ask ourselves is which of the category do we fall in because the truth is that each of us are a part of one of these categories and so you and i need to examine ourselves and to make sure that we are a part of the last category the one that what fall on good ground because if we find ourselves in the other three category we are in serious trouble now this is not to say that those who are among the other three they are without hope but until the heart is surrendered to the leading of the holy spirit then they won't be able to get the care from the farmer that is needed so that he can replant them in the good soil and i encourage us this morning that we need to surrender to the leading of the holy spirit whatever group you fall in there's still hope for you and so the question is what will you do now because you should know your state if you should examine yourself right now in accordance with the word of god you know exactly which group you are a part of and i would advise that you ask the holy spirit to help you to be a part of the right group the last group the group that is founded on good soil so that when the reaper comes that you will be among those who are harvesting as good crops may god continue to give us wisdom may he continue to help us in our walk and may we continue to trust him as we continue to walk in accordance with his will